Hi all, this is Max from accevohacks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the um, OMJ Eclair uh, Android 2.1 ROM, which is great. For those of you who have been in trouble with the Wi-Fi tether, this is supposed to fix it. Also 4G issues and uh, even the ROM manager, this works really well. So first you'll want to connect your phone to your computer and then uh, the disk drive and then we're going to go to our computer here and then um, you're going to copy over the two files you downloaded which I have links to on my blog post sorry those two files are oops uh, the Sprint a uh, APK and OMJ Evo that one though so I'm gonna get both of these and copy it over to the root folder of my my um, HTC Evo which is this one and uh, let me show you so let me copy this OMJ the latest version over and also the Sprint APKs. This is like the Sprint TV and stuff. If you don't like it, you don't have to install it. Um, actually, I was supposed to unzip it first. Let me. Eh, it doesn't matter. You can use an unzipper app on your phone. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you how to install the Eclair ROM first. So once that's copied over. Let's go back to our phone. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust one hand. Okay. Yep, it's been copied over. So we're gonna go back here, turn off the phone, uh, power off. And I found that because uh, you can't use the ROM manager yet because some issues with the uh, the rooted ROM that we used earlier so press down and power button and then we're gonna go into recovery as always and then go to recovery just wait a second if you have a SD card connect it's gonna check for an update file so now volume down recovery so it's going to go into recovery and then we'll be back to that and then let's open up a, a command com and your phone by the way it should be like this now so open up your command go to the evo recovery directory and we're going to run the the recovery windows out that Linux or you can do it for um, Mac too. So I'm in the recovery now, and let me switch hands. Sorry. Uh, da -da. So now we're gonna um, we're gonna flash the new zip file. Flash zip. Oh, actually, you gotta wipe first. Wipe, wipe. Data factory reset. Power button, and then one more power button. It's going to format it in like one, two, three seconds. All right. And then we're going to go to Dolvik Cache. Hit power. And hit power again. Okay, that's all complete. Now hit the power button once. Go down with the volume button. Flash zip from SD card. Hit the power button. And then we're going to zip, uh, flash the latest 1.3. By the time you know you see my video, there might be new ones, but this is the latest one. The power button, and also hit the power button again. And then this is gonna take about five minutes or so, so I'm just gonna leave it on the side for now, um, and I'll be back. So now it's done. Uh, all you gotta do is reboot system now. Just so hit the power button when it's done. And that's it. Now you got the new Eclair ROM. So when it boots up, we're going to do a quick test 
to see if uh, we can get Wi-Fi tether working um, and also the ROM manager so I got the new um, ROM here the Eclair ROM I'm gonna have to redo everything here but let me be back after I well, let's see here. this is the OMJ EVO 2.1 Eclair version 1.3 um, I've already been using this and it, it seems like it allows me to do uh, to do a, a, you know a lot more stuff it's more stable than the other than the root it wrong but you'll need the root it wrong installed first before you can get to this one um, oh no no actually you can you can install this ROM instead of the root it ROM I gave you Dun, dun, dun. So, right here. Uh, let me try going to the market. Let me be right back. So I got because I got to enter my password here. So I'm back. Um, we'll first test out the Wi-Fi tether, the latest version. Um, so just go to the internet. Go to Google. And the uh, type Android Wi-Fi tether. Oops, something starting up this one. Wi-Fi Wi tether. No. Tether. All right. <coughs> And hit the Google code. And just hit any of the download buttons. Let's go to the same download page. And then download the latest version. Oh my god, it's just download uploaded two minutes ago, so it must be kind of fun. Always new features. And download it. And then you can install it. Click on it. Settings. Unknown sources. Yes. Okay. Go back. Open it again. Okay. Install. Um. Open. Uh. Close. Uh. The binary is installed. Just try start. Super. Re uh. Request. Just allow. As long as it starts up, it's tethering. Yep, it's tethering. So the tethering app works flawlessly. Also, allow. Just gotta do that like once. And let's go to the market and then get the. Uh, sorry, it's, it's installed this wrong. Um, let's go to the market and look for ROM manager. Manager. So this is supposed to fix all the four um four G issues. So update. Oh okay. Okay. I just installed this I guess the ROM manager is this installed in the SD card maybe. Somehow. Anyway. We're almost done here. Testing out the new Eclair. OMJ Clara ROM, thanks to OMJ by the way. This is an awesome ROM. So I'm gonna open it up. Okay. Okay. Flash. A clockwork. Uh, clockwork mod recovery. Select that. Okay, I don't know. I'm having some errors with this. Maybe because they just updated their app. But anyway, the Wi-Fi Tether app works, and the 4G is supposed to work uh, really well on this, um, as far as I know. So for those of you who's trying to get Wi-Fi Tether on your uh, and your 4G is not working on the initial original one, install this one, and you should be fine. Instead of going back to the stock, because the stock one, you know, you can't. You can use that uh, unrevoked the app but that one you never know when it's gonna get blocked plus you have more 
fun with the you know truly rooted HTC Evo. So that was how to update it to the Claire. Thanks guys. Bye.